Hello everybody and welcome to FemFlex Friday. I'm Alina Popa, your host today. Unfortunately, my co-host Lena Murray couldn't be here today, but we have a wonderful guest. We have a wonderful guest. We have Yakseni Orakin here with us today. Yakseni, welcome to our show. I was so happy when you accepted to come. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for having me. It's, it's my pleasure to be here. Absolutely. <laughs> and guys, um, I think Yakseni is uh, the competitor with the biggest number of shows. She herself cannot remember how many. <laughs> no, I don't remember. I don't really remember right? that, no. But I know that ever since I've been uh, active in the sport, you have been there. You have been, well, I would always look at the magazines, and here's Yaksani doing the Arnold and the Olympia. This the was Olympia. pretty much mm -hmm. like your routine, I think I right? did 14 each. So that's crazy. 14, 14 Arnold, because then you would do them in pair, right? You would yeah. do the Arnold in the spring and then uh, and the, the Olympia, Olympia in September, right? Yes. October. Exactly. That's fascinating. So take us back a little bit to where did Yaxeni start from? <laughs> I start from my country in Venezuela. I was a, a model before. Uh, you were a model? A model. Like real modeling. Real modeling. Beautiful. And I worked for TV show and. Um, uh, magazines, you know, for the um, fashion show. Okay, fashion shows, um, okay. Makeup, a lot of stuff. Everything to do with the TV, not with mm -hmm. muscle. I and see. then I felt like, I felt like I was too skinny. I never, I never liked my looks. Okay. But, uh, and I meet my ex-husband and he was a PE teacher and a bodybuilding and he introduced me to do Oh, he was the, a teacher? Yeah. Introduced me to do the a bodybuilding. That's interesting. So <laughs> you thought that you, you're too skinny? Too skinny. <laughs> too skinny. <laughs> too skinny as a model, so yeah. you wanted to add some flesh on. And then here you go, your, your ex-husband took you to the gym and then you loved it. And then I never stopped until What now. did you like about it? Like, wh what was what was? Because I was from that from the little girl, everybody, uh, 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 say to me a lot of nickname for the skinny, so that put like a frustration for oh, me, and okay. I don't, I don't want to look skinny. I don't want to look skinny. I want to get big. And then when I started to sew a little, a little bicep, a little bit, so I said, I don't going to stop. <laughs> it's quite fascinating to <laughs> yeah. think that you know, like one of the, like you are one, you are one, literally one of the best bodybuilders of the world, yeah. and you are like thick and muscular and then you had an issue with being too skinny and everybody laughing at you because you everybody were too, yeah. too skinny, mm -hmm. that, that's funny. Even before when I was so skinny, it was a looks look for the for the TV and the, for the um, fashion show mm -hmm. and I went to the um, beauty um, competition in Venezuela. Okay, and oh you did the, the pageant? I did, yeah, yeah. I tried. But uh, economic, my, my situation economic, it don't let me to go forward because okay. of that, it's a little expensive. And then, so... Uh, so I how did you start competing then? How did you get into like the competitive side of bodybuilding? I won like a f four show in Venezuela, the amateur show. Okay. And I qualified to the Central American Championship, the um, Ibero-American Championship. Mm -hmm. And then when I... Uh, qualify for that. I got my pro card in '93 in okay. Puerto Rico. So that that gate came with a pro card, right? Yes. So where did you do your pro debut, or how did you transition from that? I uh, my pro debut was uh, um, I got my pro card in Puerto Rico in '90. I think it was '92, '93, and then I came to do the Jantana Classic. Okay, that was your uh, my your first, first show. show. And, and how did your how was your first pro show ever? How did you place? I always placed in the top ten. You know, at that time, the top ten qualified for. Okay, for so the, yeah, it was like I know that Jantana was a strong show. The in strong that show time, at right? that time. So I deny Jantana, nine years. But how was your first? How was your first pro show? And how did it inspire you? Did you feel like confident? Did you think like this is I'm good no, for this? No, I feel like a little uh, little girl <laughs> in the. <laughs> So the Who I was saw competing the at that time? Why were some of the top names? It was um, Vicky Gates. Vicky Gates, oh yeah, definitely. Um, Tassi Columbus. Oh, Tassi Columbus, yep, yep. I remember Tassi as well. Uh, Yolanda. Yolanda. Hughes, right, Hughes. She was there. 
the first the, the, the thing that you, you let's say your first pro show you were not necessarily like in the top right how did it change inside I mean did it make you more ambitious did you make you feel sad did it increase your uh, self-confidence how did it affect you like in that increase that a, increased a lot because when I competing in 93 and at my first Jantana I noticed like um, the promoter and a lot of photographers like my look Okay, because I was at that time. I was, you know, very like it, it, everything was different than now. Yes, you know? I came from the, to be a model, to be a bodybuilding. So I'm uh, very young. So I have my looks like a very refi refined. Yes, but and I feel like uh, wow. Even for ten plays, I don't remember what place I got. I feel so happy. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's no surprise because, you know, I know very well that when I came into sport and I hear everybody saying that, you know, you are known for your beauty, for um, uh, the way you move, you know, como una gata, como you know, gata. like a cat. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> yeah, you, you move like you, your moves are very fluid. So then you have that Latin blood in you, you know, like it's totally showing on your face and on your body. So. It's definitely beautiful, and I'm not surprised to hear that you know you were immediately uh, noticed by the judges yeah, I and noticed, by the photographers. Yeah. I the noticed industry, like a impact, right? a little impact. So, so what is the show uh, like? Um, what's the first Olympia when you actually like you felt like okay, now I'm a contender for this. Like I'm made for this, and this is what I want to do, and I'm really good. I'm a top. What was that? What was the year? Mm, I don't remember. The, I'm really bad with the years. With my, but uh, when I start to get in the top five, in the top five, and I say, "Wow!" So now I have to. Yeah. I have to work so to be. So was it more in the be. beginning of the fourteen co uh, uh, competitions? Yes. Also, like a two thousand, maybe two thousand. Two, two thousand three. Okay, so let's. We would say that you yeah, were yeah, quite successful two. Mm -hmm. then in this yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. So then you started to be a contender from the very beginning, right? Yeah, I start to won the Arnold Classic. Yes, and then because you have five Arnold titles, five Arnold, right? And then in two thousand five, when I won the Arnold Classic again, I won the Olympia. That's so tell me time. a little bit about uh, that Olympia. Um, What's the particularities of that year? Because you must remember that your yeah. title, right? You know, at that time, the the judges or the IFEB tried to change the rules. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember. They tried to uh, change, and they say you have to lose the twenty percent of yeah, muscle. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. That make a lot of uh, athletes very nervous because I remember before the Olympia, I tried to do the New York Pro or something like that or Jantana. And when I tried to squeeze my legs, so the judges told me, "Don't, don't squeeze your legs because it's, you don't, have a stretching." Don't and flex them. Yeah. Don't so flex you, they didn't want to see the conditioning. The condition, but no, no stretching because they the feathers, try to, yeah. you know, they try to 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 find other look for women's bodybuilding. More feminine, more yeah. For that reason, maybe they bring the you know, physique. I, I particularly remember Yaxani that uh, that year because uh, I barely that was uh, what it was two thousand five. You said right two thousand five. So I started my career in two thousand. So as I was, I think I was just barely had two or three shows in Europe done. And I remember following up. Internet was there, so I could follow up what's happening in the United States in the bodybuilding stage. Mm -hmm. And I remember when they come use that rule. So I was sitting there and I was wondering. Obviously, I was not at that level, so that rule didn't really apply to me at that point because I was a baby starting. But I was thinking, how can these athletes actually? after you go and after you have built all your muscles and your maturity and your conditioning how can you literally from a year to another lose 20% 20 percent 20 percent of yeah. your muscles yeah like what does it mean that do I have to train 20 percent less do I have to eat 20 you don't even know less? what to do so what can I do so maybe take less weight take I think this is a, it was a, extremely challenging for all the uh, top athletes competing at that so time. I don't I didn't pay attention because at that time always my look was a little soft Yes. In comparison, for example, with Iris, mm -hmm. so I didn't, uh, I did change anything. I went to 2005 Olympia like that, and I won because I looks. Yes, you. you I lose like a 20 percent less. 
But I yeah. never did the twenty percent less because I was like that. So do you so. think that maybe the twenty percent less uh, was an illusion because you were softer, but actually you didn't actually lose any muscles? No. Exactly. So and you just came in softer and then it looked like everything is softer, right? Exactly. Did Iris compete in that year? Iris got the second place. So she got second after second you? Second place, okay. yeah. Because she, did she, do you think she changed anything that year? Yes, she's, you know, because Iris, she's very muscular. Yes. So she, I think she did a lot of change for the 2005 and her presentation is not like a that iris that usually iris okay so and you can notice the difference like uh, for that reason in 2006 she came like a, like a, you know what i don't pay attention to this rule i want to go in on stage like i am so in 2005 she observed the rule and came in in a shape that didn't allow her to win she was softer right she was softer she and was small but and then it's not like the, the iris looks no. i understand but this is what they asked for right yeah exactly but no so she followed but she didn't place but you did and then i think this has to do with the fact that you are being yourself, being a little bit softer, softer. and not pushing the envelope for that size, mm -hmm. while Iris was trying to change who she actually is, therefore she lost, yeah. right? But then the next year, in 2006, she came back in her she old self, back. muscular and shredded, yeah, and, and I came won. back in the same condition, so and I get the top, the and I don't even get the top five. So what I happened with the 20 percent rule at that point? It was for maybe it was for that a year? year, one year, because. The, then you know this is what i mean is like i was reading it and i was like okay they want the female bodybuilders to be smaller but then you get on stage and then they uh give the title to iris and iris comes like in bigger and more shredded than ever so there is a little uh controversy right compared yeah. to what yeah. you ask and what you actually deliver exactly right? i think like uh the ifvv at that time tried to figure out where what can we do with the woman's bodybuilding? Yes. So they, they try to figure it out because always is some controversy with us. Yeah. I noticed that. So, and for that reason, maybe they brought uh, physique uh, yeah. category. No? And I think that this is exactly what I wanted to say. I think that, that when they started that, there was a way to kind of like do what they actually did with the physique division, right? Mm -hmm. They brought it up. They were trying to get it softer get it smaller but they didn't know how so then the solution came later with the introduction of the, the introduction of the division right so um i know that um, olympia uh, had its last uh, edition in 2014 14. so between 5 and 14 you kept on doing every year right yes every so year how were you what are you placing in this um uh, in this show, still 2014 after your... And then after I get seventh place on 2006. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't even get in the post down, in the top five. Yeah, because you didn't get top six, yeah. No, top six. So, and then in 2008, I came, I came back again to the top five. Okay. Um, sometimes three, four, second, so you but stopped always observing close that to place. the iris, always okay. was close. Yes. I noticed always iris get so nervous when she saw me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I say, don't that. worry. You <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So. No, but I know that, you know, as I came into the sport, I know that you were one of the names and uh, I was always very impressed how like Yaksen is there and you always made top five, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but this is a very long career because your first show, let's say your first pro show was in um, 19, 1994, right? And then, My, yeah, the pro show, yes. And then mm -hmm. between 1994 and 2014, when the last Olympia was, you competed every year. And then you told me that in the beginning you even had like four or five shows in a year, right? As a mm -hmm. bodybuilder, yep. that is a lot of work. Yeah. So my question is like, um, what pushed you? What motivated you to come with no no denial? Like every year you knew you're gonna do this show. You didn't get tired. You didn't say I'm gonna stop. You didn't say I'm gonna skip the Arnold or anything. You just kept on coming. So I want to know. It's a lot of work. What's that engine? What pushed you? When I came to the United States in, in '95, in '95 with my son was uh, only three years old. Okay. Almost four years old, and um, I don't have any family right here. I don't have nobody here. I came along with my son, and I don't have nothing to do. Just take care of my son and go to the gym. Okay. And try to 
uh, sober by, right? Yeah. And then my my goal is only in my mind only is that uh, I came to United States just to compete. Mm -hmm. I can't go back to Venezuela, so it's I don't have anything else to do just to okay. compete and work at the gym, take care of my son, and go yeah. to sleep. And every day was the same, the same, the same. And I don't have anybody to say, okay, let's do this, let's do. And I dedicate my time to yeah to compete every Is year. And sometimes I ask the judges, oh. Uh, what do you think? So what happened with me? And then little by little, I start to learn and look myself and check what I did wrong in this show. Yeah. What I did, and so and then I try to improve, improve, improve until I get in the top level. Yeah. So um, did you ever have? I never heard you talking about any coach. Did you have a, ever had a coach, or you just trained yourself? I always trained by myself and. Um, and then in 2010, I got my coach. It still is the same. Okay. It's, he's from Argentina. Okay. Uh, and and I only stay with him. Okay, that's good because it, it was very interesting. It's Alberto never, Calabreses. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I never. He probably comes. <laughs> he's from was the, he was the he was the boyfriend of Rita Pello. Oh, oh, okay. So when I start to look Rita, how she look, and I say, wow, she looks so. And, um, yeah, definitely so Rita's uh, Rita was like is, a, like yeah. she came from the other planets. Like yeah, um, it was conditioning. Yeah, that condition is not from even from an anatomy book. <laughs> yeah, not even the man looks like her at the time. So, and then I asked her, and she's recommend him. And yeah. until now, I still. I know that you decided to retire at some point before they announced the retirement, the returning of Olympia. What year was your last year at the Rising Phoenix? In 17, 2017, 17. I decided to uh, retire it because uh, I, I I planned to put more attention in my business. Yeah. Well, you know, I got my gym. Yeah, um, tell us a little bit about the gym. I got my gym in Miami, Florida, um, mm -hmm. and and that was my dream, to have a gym in Miami. Yeah. So, and then I say, you know what, I did already three Phoenix, so let's Let's give it a door open to the new generation. Yeah. The new woman's body building looks really good. It's, uh, it's in the other level now. Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, it's the time to to step back. And so um, I know that you are coming back, obviously, right? You, you announced your uh, return on the stage. So what made you come back, right? When you and Jake invited me to the Romania, yeah. No, Romania, not to the legends uh, and champions last yes, year. And yeah. I, and I hear right there like the Olympia coming back. They, you know, put like a some flash on my eyes, <laughs> and I say, "Oh my God, I can't believe that." So, and then if it's that opportunity, so why I don't? I can try one more time, yeah. just to see what happened. You know, Absolutely. I'm planning to be in the, you know, in the top. As always, but uh, I want to enjoy this show. Yeah. I want to enjoy this opportunity to to be on stage, to be in the Olympia again. Maybe it's going to be my last one. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to enjoy. And I said, you know, with my age, I don't know. And then I say, you know, I feel good. I never stop working out. Why yeah. I don't try one more time? So um, and let's see what can happen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's, it's very uh, inspirational because, you know, mm -hmm. after you said that you're coming back and you signed up your contract and announced your return, Iris also did the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. here I am and my, 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 my blood is boiling. I was like, I want to be there with the girls on stage. <laughs> but unfortunately, I yeah. can't do that no, this no, year. <laughs> and, I, and I was waiting like uh, maybe Alina going to, maybe, do you know that everybody get motivated? Yeah, absolutely. That's but I know you have uh, right now a full-time job right here. Yeah. And thank you, you and Linda, because uh, you really do a great job with us. Thank with you. The organization you know, and we everything. love the sport. We love our division. You know. I remember when you came the your first Olympia. I think so. I saw you backstage, and I look at you, and I say to you, "You have a really good future." You told me that. I remember. Yeah. I, I love your I symmetry, so and I say, "Wow." I was she like, was really good. Yaxeni talked to me and she <laughs> gave me compliments. She said, I'm good. I was so excited. <laughs> and then when you start to win, I say, wow, look at her. 
Beautiful. Thank yeah. you. But yeah, yeah I do beautiful. remember that. And definitely that was one of my biggest, you know, motivations when you came and you talked to me and encouraged me. And uh, yeah. I actually, you know, I try to do the same whenever I see good girls coming our way. You know, yeah, exactly. I like to encourage them and to share some positive energy with them, you know. So, well, I get a little sad hearing that it might be your last show, but, uh, you know, <laughs> life happens and I know how people have other plans ahead of them. Uh, as for now, I'm really happy that you're returning. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could be on stage with you one more time. But if you retire, I don't even have that chance anymore. <laughs> but anyway, no. Akseni, thank you so much for being here with us, for accepting our invitation and telling us about your life story and your career. We are very honored to have you here. And uh, thank you guys thank for, you for having watching me. this thank episode. Thank you for having me. And, and the thanks. beautiful Yaksani. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. See you in our next episode. <laughs>